Let's look at creating Asset Master Records in SAP Financial Accounting. The SAP menu path to create Asset Master Record is Accounting, Financial Accounting, Fixed Assets, then you go to Asset here, Create AS01, that's a short transition code to create the Asset Master Data. So let's double click on that. So now you can actually create the asset, give the asset class, company code and you can start creating. If you have already created one asset, you can give that asset number as a reference. So you don't have to fill up all the details again. So let's select an asset class. We have, let's imagine that we are going to order a new set of cubicles. So we'll create some cubicles as an asset class. So enter your company code, Z123, press enter. If you already know your asset class, you can directly key it in as well. And all the asset class will get displayed. So let's choose fixture and fittings because we want to create some office space cubicles. So let's click on that. Enter your company code, it's already entered for you. And press enter in your keyboard to proceed. Or you can also click on that master data icon which you saw. Now here you can give the description. So I'm going to call it cubicle type A. And I'll say the color is white. These are cubicles I'm ordering. And that's a description you can give. You can give up to about 50 characters. You also have another line also you can give more further detailed description. Now these are asset main number text. Here you can give again another set of description. So let's I'm just going to again call it cubicle type A here. And inventory number, if this asset has some specific inventory number or your own inventory number, if you're having some your own serial number also, you can specify over here. Imagine if you're buying a laptop, then you can even give your laptop model number over here. You can even give your laptop serial number here or here. Or if you have your own serial number from your organization also, you can give those numbers here. You can also specify the quantity, how many of these types you are buying. Sometimes in the one particular asset might have a box of, for example, if you are buying a box of pencils, then that box might have about 20 pencils inside them. So you can specify like that also. And here you can put the quantity and the number in the unit of the quantity in E. You can put specific something like EA for each. And also you can specify some other details. When was the last inventory taken on? For our purpose, of course, we're not going to specify into all these details. We leave everything blank. And we're not going to put any capitalization date, deactivation date or anything over here because we still, we're just going to create the asset master data. Later, when you come back to into the screen, after you do some capitalization and our acquisition, you can see this will get filled up. For now, just enter description. You can enter something over here, asset main number text. And then go to click on time dependent tab. Now here, just specify the cost center. We have just created one cost center with the ID 101001. So we have just going to specify there. So this is when the asset master record, you need to specify the cost center because all the depreciation expense of this asset has to go into a cost center. You can also assign the asset to an internal order. Internal order is another CEO module component. It's usually used for short term projects or for some marketing campaigns and so on. And if this asset in some particular plant, location, room, you can specify all those information. For example, if it's a vehicle, you can give the license. And then you can skip all these other types. It's not relevant for our presentation. If you want, you can just go through it. There's some more fields you can specify. Now you're getting a message saying cost center does not exist. So let's go and check whether we have filled in the right cost center or not. So controlling it Z triple zero, company code Z123. Let's execute and see. Oh, sorry, the cost center ID is 10101, not 001. So I'm just going to select that cost center. Okay. So now we can proceed. There are some more other useful groups available. Now this is something called evaluation group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. This is all for reporting purposes. So one particular asset you can define to different different evaluation groups. 
for example you might want to have your own evaluation group for cubicles rather than having individual